Did you know that the average person spends nearly half their life on autopilot? We go through the motions, caught in routines and mental chatter. But what if there's a way to break free, to experience life with greater depth and awareness? Today, we'll uncover seven simple behaviors that can unlock a higher consciousness and transform the way you see the world. 1. Unlearn and learn. Learning is a journey that never really ends. If you believe reaching a state of awakening or higher consciousness means you've learned everything there is to know, hmm, you're mistaken. In the world of spirituality, learning often means unlearning. This includes letting go of your current beliefs that don't serve your growth, changing your usual ways of living or the habits you've been conditioned to follow without questioning, recognizing and altering the thought processes you do without thinking, which often guide your actions and emotions without you even realizing it. The most spiritually aware people I've encountered are always in a state of consciousness. They're so tuned into their inner awareness that they immediately notice any automatic reactions, emotions, or thoughts. This constant vigilance helps them stay on their spiritual path without straying. Emulate this approach. Begin by being mindful of the small everyday things. Notice how you react automatically to certain situations or emotions and start questioning why. Then slowly expand this practice to more aspects of your life. Remember, the process of unlearning is ongoing. Never assume you're finished learning and growing. The truth is, you can never be done. There's always something new to discover about yourself and the world around you, especially on the spiritual path. 2. Be kind to yourself. Starting with kindness towards yourself is like laying the foundation of a house. In the realm of spirituality, constantly criticizing yourself doesn't pave the way for growth. Instead, try adopting the curiosity and forgiveness of a child. When a child makes a mistake, they acknowledge it, learn, and then move on with a sense of eagerness to do better next time. This is how you should approach your own missteps. Whenever you find yourself slipping, whether in your thoughts, actions, or reactions, it's important to recognize what happened. Then, gently guide yourself back onto your path with understanding and patience, ready to try again with more awareness. The essence of your spiritual journey isn't measured by how often you stray from your path, but by your ability to notice when you do, and how you bring yourself back with intention. Remember, what truly counts is the effort you put in. You're in the process of retraining a mind that has been set in its ways for years, maybe even decades. This kind of transformation demands not just time, but a great deal of patience. So, be compassionate with yourself. Your journey towards spiritual growth is unique and won't happen overnight. Every step you take, every stumble, and every realization is part of a larger process of becoming more attuned to your inner self and the world around you. Treat yourself with the same kindness and patience you would offer to someone you love deeply. 3. Power of starting now One thing you'll notice about highly conscious individuals is their unwavering commitment to their growth. They don't put off their efforts to achieve greater awareness. They make it a priority in the here and now, in this very moment. Many people, however, get caught in the web of their own thoughts. They become their own biggest obstacle, pushing back their spiritual progress through endless procrastination. They get so entangled in their intellect that they overlook the most fundamental aspect of spiritual growth, the necessity of doing the work on oneself. The advice here is simple yet profound. Start today. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. Become an observer of everything that's unfolding around you and within you. Begin with whatever resources, knowledge, and circumstances you have at this moment. This immediate approach is a powerful magnet for consciousness. By committing to your spiritual practice in the present moment, you bypass the common traps of overthinking and procrastination. You open yourself up to the flow of higher awareness, allowing it to guide you more deeply into the journey of self-discovery and growth. Remember, 
The journey to higher consciousness is not about waiting for the perfect conditions, but about starting where you are and making the most of the present moment. 4. Prioritization is your key. In today's world, it's easy to get lost in a sea of distractions. There's so much vying for our attention that it can feel like we're being pulled in a million directions at once. This is why understanding and setting your priorities is crucial, especially on a spiritual path. Reminding yourself of your priorities acts like an anchor, pulling your focus back from the chaos of the world to what truly matters to you. It's about identifying what's most important in your life and keeping that at the forefront of your mind. People who have reached a high level of consciousness have this skill down to an art. They're not scattered across too many interests or commitments. Instead, they have a laser-like focus on their main goals and values. They can sift through the noise and distractions of everyday life and concentrate on what truly matters to them. To cultivate this focus, Start by asking yourself what is most important to you. What do you really want out of life? If it's to discover your personal truth, then make that your priority. Periodically, revisit and, if necessary, revise your priorities to ensure they still align with your goals and values. This practice will help you stay on track, even in a world that constantly tries to divert your attention. Remember, when you know what you need and want from life, and keep that knowledge at the center of your attention. No one and nothing can keep you from pursuing your path for long. Prioritizing your spiritual goals is not just about knowing them, but also about making a commitment to follow through on that knowledge, day after day. 5. Empty your cup. Learning to let go is essential on the path to higher consciousness. Imagine trying to pour more water into a cup that's already full. It simply won't work. Similarly, you can't embrace a new, elevated state of awareness with an old, cluttered mindset. Picture your current state of mind as a slow-moving bullet cart, while higher consciousness is like a high-speed bullet train. The difference in pace and capacity is stark. Many of us carry around a mental and emotional load filled with the remnants of our past. Mistakes, regrets, pain, and unresolved emotions. This clutter acts as a barrier to our growth and to the inflow of new insights and enlightenment. The spiritually advanced individuals I've encountered have a unique relationship with their past. They don't dwell on it or let it define them. For them, the past is like a story that has concluded. It no longer holds any power over their present or future. To open yourself up to higher consciousness, it's crucial to release these past blockages. Holding on to old wounds, grievances and turmoil only hampers your journey. Even something as recent as a conversation from an hour ago belongs to the past and should be let go. If you aspire to reach a state of higher consciousness, you must learn to flow with life, embracing each moment as it comes without clinging to what has been. This means actively letting go of everything that weighs you down, making space for new growth and understanding. It's about moving forward with a lightness of being, ready to receive the wisdom and insights that come with living in alignment with the present moment. 6. Mistakes are okay. Understanding and accepting your mistakes is a crucial part of your journey. No one, especially when they're new to this path, can stay fully aware and conscious all the time. Even those who've been meditating for years and seem to know a lot about spirituality can't achieve constant perfect awareness. I too have moments when I lose my focus, which is why I still seek guidance from others. And you know what? It's perfectly fine to have these moments. Yes, making a mistake can feel a bit embarrassing. You might think you're not doing well enough or worry about what others might say. But here's the thing. Making mistakes is completely normal. What really matters is not the mistake itself, but how long you allow yourself to dwell on it. Holding on to your mistakes, beating yourself up over them, or spending too much time feeling bad about what happened does more harm than the slip-up itself. The key is to acknowledge it, learn from it, and then let it go. Move forward without attaching yourself to the past errors. This isn't just about improving. It's about allowing yourself the space to grow 
and continue on your spiritual path without unnecessary burdens. 7. Return to your essence. In a world that often feels like it's moving at breakneck speed, where deadlines loom large and the pressure to perform is relentless, it's easy to lose touch with what makes you, you. Life, in many ways, has turned into a frenzy of competition, pushing us toward an endless pursuit of proving ourselves. But the truth is, real understanding and appreciation of your self-worth don't come from external validation or achievements. They come from within, in moments of quiet and reflection. To maintain a connection with your inner self, it's essential to step away from the hustle and bustle regularly. Operating non-stop, like a machine, can disconnect you from your natural state of being. It's in silence, not in the clamor of daily life, that you can hear the whispers of your true self. Taking time out isn't just about physical rest, it's about mental and spiritual rejuvenation. Spend time in nature, where the simplicity and beauty of the natural world can help restore your inner peace. These moments away from the demands of society allow you to recharge and refocus on what truly matters. Remember, there's no set number of breaks or retreats to take. The key is to recognize when you're losing touch with your essence and to make the time to reconnect with yourself. Whether it's a short walk in a park, a weekend getaway to a quiet spot, or simply spending a few quiet moments alone each day, these breaks are vital for your spiritual well-being. So make it a priority to pause, breathe, and be with yourself amidst life's chaos. Revisit your true self often, especially before you feel submerged by the external world's demands. This practice is not just a luxury, it's a necessity for anyone seeking to live a conscious, fulfilled life. If you're still here, I would like to say you're an amazing person. I understand your curiosity and thirst for knowledge. I wish you all the best in your life. May you always stand strong in every situation and live an exemplary life for others. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I wish you a beautiful day.